So you take the hijab. The most heard argument for hijab is that hijab is a dress and it is a part of uh, choice, dress choice, mm-hmm. and it is a part of religious choice. This is the main argument that they are making. And uh, one thing that I would like to ask here is that when we are seeing all the atrocities that is going on in Iran, just for defying this compulsory hijab rules, Masamini got killed there. You might be aware of that. How a person can say this at least? Hijab is a choice and it is a part of a dress. That is the first question that should that every believer should ask themselves. And the second thing is, uh, Islam portrays hijab not as a dress. It is a rule. It is not a dress at all. It is a a piece of cloth used as a religious symbol. Okay, religious symbol it is. It's not a dress. So uh, when we say something is a dress, the, there's a simple definition for that. What is a dress? A dress is something that we use to cover ourselves to uh, out of humility. We do that. Okay. So or that's to protect, protect us from uh, the many other elements. things. Yeah. It's it's something. It has a function. Dress has a function, basically. But hijab is not that. For for that to understand, uh, a woman. If she, instead of wearing that hijab, she wears a a hoodie. That is not considered as a hijab. If she wears a a helmet without a scarf, that's not considered as a hijab. Scarf as in? Means uh, that the cloth that wear over the head. Okay. Okay. That is not considered as a hijab. If she puts some simple cloth or some cap. So covering the head, protecting the head. Humility, this is not what hijab is. Hijab is a a cloth which should be like this. And uh, and one another example I can give you. There is an incident that happened recently in Kerala. uh, In a college, the the principal, one of the teachers, they asked the students of a class to come and uh, wear and come black dress for a mime competition in this college. So they went home. And they were uh, all boys. Okay, they were all boys. So they went home and they wanted black dress. So which is the most easily available black dress in a, in a home? Usually the parda it is. Okay, so what they did is, okay, every boy, they had a mother or a sister or someone like that. So they took a black parda. They wore it and they came to the college or the school the next day. The very moment they reached and they started um, doing this mime, that competition then came the <laughs> the jihadis marching inside and they were literally they were locking the principal and they wanted an apology from him why because they wore a parda and they were accusing him of that he he forced these students to mock parda so i'm asking if parda that they wore a black dress, if it was a dress and if it was a black churidar or a black sari, will anyone come to a college and uh, lock up the principal? If it was a churidar, will anyone come there? No. But since it was a parda, it, they came in and they wanted an apology. So that itself shows simply that it was not a dress. It was implying to something and that is religion. So that's mm-hmm. what we are saying. It is not a dress. It is a religious symbol. So I'm, what I'm saying is, even if, all, apart from all these rules and how this is being observed, a Muslim slave woman is not allowed to wear this. So there is a Khalifa in Islam, mm-hmm. uh, Khalifa Umar. Umar is so famous that once even Gandhiji was telling that uh, we want the Umar's reign in India. Okay, so that's how he is being popularized and uh, glorified. Umar's reign, Khalifa Umar. What Khalifa, this Khalifa did was, he was coming uh, into one of his companions' home or something like that. And he saw a woman wearing a hijab. Okay, so by seeing her, 
he recognized and he asked her are you freed okay or are you still a slave he was asking her so she told no i am not freed i am still a slave woman then the next question is then why are you wearing this hijab why are you covering your head and why are you resembling a free woman that's the question he asked then she was taken aback this girl this slave girl and he asked now okay remove your hijab so she was not willing to remove that then what umar did was umar was having a stick with his uh, with him he forcefully uh, beat her and she, he made her remove this hijab where did this happen during when that, in during his time that uh, in 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 this islamic period okay yeah. and khalifa uh, umar arabia yeah saudi in, in this arabian world khalifa umar the second khalifa so uh, this is what the hijab is in islam it is only for the free woman so my, uh, what i am asking as or all the ex muslims we are asking the same question is if the hijab is for empowerment if the hijab is for uh, the upliftment of women and if it is implying the, the 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 freedom of a woman and if it is a dress and if it is a if it is something that is related to the freedom of their choice and all then why not that is being allowed for a slave girl even if she is a muslim that's the point so that's not that so what is then hijab how how it is becoming a, a, a freedom there is a freedom and that's not to uh, decide to wear or not to wear but to choose between the colors you can wear a black hijab or a red hijab or a yellow hijab that's the only choice not to wear hijab what happens is if you are in a really sharia or islamic country like iran or in afghanistan that you are seeing right now you will be getting killed mm-hmm. you if you are questioning that you are in fact questioning the god mm-hmm. so they are terming it as the uh, 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 waging war against the god mm-hmm. that's how they classify this crime defying the islamic laws and they the punishment for such uh, such acts is that either you will be killed or you will be uh, your hands and feet will be cut off from the opposite sides or you will be uh, made to exile this opposite side uh, right tj tj joseph you know him i don't yeah he was the professor tj joseph he okay. uh, he wrote something in a question paper and that was uh, alleged oh, i think i know yeah, this yeah so he was being said that he mocked the prophet and uh, these people came in and they uh, chop off his right hand and left leg that's what they did <laughs> so this is the punishment uh, re- uh, and this is uh, as per the verses in quran that is the chapter 5 verse 35 33 533 they enacted that uh, rule present in that so this is what happens and this is what we are seeing in iran we, what we are seeing in afghanistan waging war against the god or the uh, causing corruption in the land that's how they term this so what 